Hey guys, welcome back. So it's another weekend of me getting ready. Um, later, I'm about to go to the movies. I'm always going to the fucking movies. I love the movies. I'm gonna go to the movies, get some tacos with some friends and some fam and call it a day. I'm gonna include some new products today that um, I haven't tried before, which is the Smashbox Primerizer. It's been around for a while, um, but with the new foundation routine I've been doing, I've been looking for a more hydrating base, even though I'm a combo skin kind of girl. So I'm gonna try that out and see if I like it. I don't know how I feel about it. I also wanna introduce something to you guys. If you haven't like learned about it or know about it already, um, and this is not sponsored at all, but uh, I, so I um, just got back from North Carolina a couple days ago from burying my grandmother. And I was there for about four or five days and I couldn't really sleep, but I brought these with me and these really helped. Um, I've been using them for almost two years now and they just put me to sleep. They put me to sleep within like, I wanna say an hour and it really helped. So now Ollie carries the sleep gummies in these, um, what are these? These like travel size packs and I take one, okay, last week and I took two. You're supposed to take two and that's how strong of, um, two will definitely work for you especially you gotta think about your body mass and your height and weight or whatever um if it's if it's just me on a weekday and i just have a little trouble like i know i'm having a little bit of trouble going back to sleep i'll just take one but if i know i'm really having trouble going back to sleep the recommended dosage is two so i'll take two so these are all these sleep gummies i really like i live for these i put everybody on them you kids can even take them I would only recommend giving your child one. So we're gonna go through my skin prep before my foundation routine, and I'm gonna try to keep this minute, this uh, video under 30 minutes. That's probably not gonna happen, but I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna start with using my Thayer's Lavender Toner, and I'm going to, I finally got some cotton rounds. I get the exfoliating cotton rounds from Target. You can get them from Walmart, CVS, whatever you prefer. Um, I was just there today because I had to pick up detergent, and I remembered to finally pick some of these up. So that's what we're doing. I use the Thayer's Witch Hazel Lavender Toner. I love this. And it really, I use the exfoliating side so I can really scrub into my face. I wanna get up close and personal real quick so you guys can see what's been going on with my skin. And I think it's just because of like, you know, all the sadness that we've been going through as a family. Um, it's just cause, and I'm getting my period next week. It's just causing me to break out a little bit. Um, and I normally get like little small hormonal breakouts around here. I get some redness here and I have no idea what that is, but just scrub it, scrub it all. I get deep with my toner. I'm letting my eyebrows do her own thing right now. So that's cool or whatever. So um, we'll put that to the side. I wanna clean my hands. All right, so we're gonna try this primerizer. See, okay, here's, I felt the texture of this when I first bought it and brought it home. And I wasn't really like blown away because I'm normally using a primer like this, which is a good hydrating, thick hydrating base, but it has a little bit of silicone in it. So it makes your pores look smooth. Or I love the Tatcha Silk Canvas. So I'm a really huge fan of this because it makes me look like baby doll smooth. Um, and I love this because it adds hydration and it makes me look smooth. This didn't give me like vibes, like it had, it doesn't have tackiness to it, it's just hydration. And for $40, I don't know. So we're gonna just try it, we'll see how we feel about it. it comes out in a runny, you know, white consistency. And we're gonna just, instead of using my moisturizer, because I normally use the Clinique ID, hydrating jelly with the orange serum. I'm gonna just do this. Yeah, see this isn't, it? this doesn't really give me like excitement. It's not sticky. It's just hydrating. It's not smooth. It's just hydrating, which is, which is fine, but it might go back. I don't know. This is the first time I'm wearing it under makeup though since because I got it before I went to North Carolina and I didn't use it while I was up there because every time I did try to put makeup on I just cried it all off. So I don't know. I just kind of gave up on that scenario. Um we are going to 
Huda Beauty Foundation, my favorite. I use 410G, which is brown sugar. That's the first time I've been able to say it right in a video without flipping over myself. I feel like my skin's a little sticky, so we'll see, we'll see. This is my favorite movie of all time. I'm a huge Marvel fan, so I'm either watching Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, or I'm watching Thor Ragnarok. Today I'm watching Guardians of the Galaxy. And the beginning song is, um... This is why my videos are so long. I get distracted. Come and get your love. Ugh. This is gonna mess me up every time. All right, let me. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. So me and my friend were, I was actually singing this song and he was like, you know, that's like the intro song for F is for Family. So we watched it, the F is for Family show. It's a little racist. Um, I don't really expect anything different from Bill Burr. So, I'm not really a fan of that show, but you know, everybody wants to, I mean, we're in 2020, shit's been going crazy. I don't really expect anything from anybody anymore. I almost expect the worst out of people at this point. All right, I wet my Dose of Color sponge. I love this sponge. So I have beauty blenders. I've been using beauty blenders for years, but that sponge does like, magical things all right i take the like a compact that has a flat surface and that's where i'll pump my foundation into and you know what i'm gonna put a i'm gonna put a little bit of a pore filling primer on oh that's the other one that i use so i love the smashbox pore minimizing primer so i think i'm gonna switch I think since I'm running out of this, I'm gonna return this and get another one of these because this could easily do what my moisturizer and serum do. So I really don't feel like I need the Smashbox primerizer. Unless you're like one of those stream, extremely dry women or men. I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like there are better products out there that can give you the hydration you're looking for. Star-Lord. Who? Legendary Outlaw. Have I told y'all how much I love the smell of this foundation? It's everything. Come and get your love. This is not a singing competition, and I would not be on one. I actually despise singing competitions. Well, I don't know why. I don't like any reality TV, actually, if we're thinking about it. Like, Love and Hip Hop, The Mass Singers. Like, I don't dodge people who watch it. I just, I don't, I don't know. I just, it doesn't do anything for me. You know what it is? I don't like drama. I got enough sh I, my life isn't filled with drama at all, but I got enough shit going on. I don't want to watch other people's fucking drama. Like, I don't live off of that. Like, I'd rather watch some superhero type. Ooh, a new movie that came out on Netflix. They're so good, Anola Holmes. I am a huge, 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 huge Sherlock Holmes fan in any capacity, in any capacity. We're talking about um, Benedict Cumberbatch, amazing for the BBC amazing um, Sherlock he, he definitely has the personality of Sherlock and then I also loved Robert Downey Jr. as Sherlock um, I just I love anything that has to do with Sherlock Holmes like I am just a huge Sherlock Holmes fan so this is the story of his sister Enola Holmes and I'm so mad that they only made it a movie because I've been watching the movie's like two and a half hours long and I love it I've been watching it every day since I um, found out about it I just wish they made it into like a series so I can watch more of it because I'm so addicted. What 
so I got into an argument with my coworker. Um, so I found out my grandmother passed away the Friday before last. And then a couple days later, me and my coworker got into it because I just hate the way she talks to me. She's like really condescending. And um, I obviously got in trouble for the way I spoke to her because I literally cursed her ass out. Because you know, like when somebody that you love close to you passes away, you're not in your right mind. You know what I'm saying? And I was tired of her talking crazy to me anyways that I just I couldn't take it anymore and I just especially you know somebody I love just passed away and you're talking to me like this you've been talking to me like this for some reason I haven't said nothing to you sometimes you just gotta correct people and let them know what's up and I did that and I didn't feel good about it afterwards but I'm not sorry that I did it because I don't like the way she talks to me and, and that goes to anybody you know what I'm saying I want to tell all you guys like whoever what comes across my videos I know I don't have a lot of subscribers or views right now but don't let people talk to you crazy but remember when you're in a professional atmosphere you gotta you, you can give it back to them without doing like I did it I was just emotional and I just completely cursed her ass out um but that comes with consequences so like my boss understood but if my boss wasn't my boss and I had somebody else, it probably would have been a lot worse of a situation. You feel me? So let's be careful. Some people, and I'm not saying she don't deserve it. That's why I said I didn't apologize. And I still will refuse to apologize to this day. And that was like a week ago. But, you know. is what it is i got my boo boo's hair done this morning she looks so cute she looks so cute i'm so happy i'm so happy for her let me try to lift you guys a little bit yeah that's a little bit better she looks so adorable i'm so happy um she loves it my mom loves it and her dad loves it so that's all that matters found a new hair girl she's gonna do my locks because i'm gonna do faux locks and right now i have micros in and they're starting to dread up in certain places because i've had them in for like i want to say like three or four or five months now um i can't even remember how long i've had them in i just kept having my cousin touch up certain ones but i think i'm gonna try doing faux locks i think that's gonna be what i do next um because i used to play with my hair so much and cause so much damage from all the heat because my hair is really kinky and curly because i'm biracial and this um i just damaged it so much so this has been allowing me not to touch my hair and i don't have to worry about doing my hair in the morning it would take up so much of my day and I love not having to do it. I haven't put a relaxer in my hair. I've been relaxing my hair since I was 12, like professionally and on my own. I actually been relaxing my hair on my own probably for the last 10 years. Cause I just prefer to have my hair straight. Um, me personally, but I'm kind of glad that I'm not messing with it right now. And I don't have to deal with it. So that's why I like this whole... My daughter got crochet and she looks so cute. And so I'm also going to get crochet faux locks. And we'll see how it comes out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let this dry under my under eyes a little bit. But I'm going to blend out what's on my lid. Are they on Xandar? No. Yes, they are on Xandar. Xandarians. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a little bit. Cool, 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 cool. My foundation's already dry, yeah. I'm just trying to do some quick makeup. I am probably gonna do some eyeshadow with the Amrezi palette. Um, because I just love that palette and because I know I'm going to the movies and we're gonna go to tacos I kind of want to you know I haven't done makeup in a long time so I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna give them a little something but um, when it comes to my look but 
I also know I'm gonna be wearing a mask um, in certain scenarios, so I don't know. I haven't figured out like what my mask routine is that's working because every ever since they implemented masks full time um, in my county at least, I just haven't been wearing makeup to work because I feel like there's no point. Because I'm gonna I'm wearing a mask all day because I'm having clients come in all day. So I don't know if you guys know this. I work for a bank. I'm a banker. I've been a banker for, I want to say, five years. My first year, I was a teller. And then I got promoted to banker. And I've been a banker ever since. And this is the second, third bank I've worked for. Um, because I just, I'm a single parent. And I go where the money goes. So if somebody offers me more money, if there's a better opportunity, same job, but more money, yeah, I take it. I think anybody should this whole idea me personally this whole idea of loyalty to a company is all great and all but i i can't be loyal to a company that's going to keep giving me like minimal bonuses like we need i need real increase every year the goal is to make more money every year so that's my thought process when it comes to working in in banks and in corporations just even if even if you're not working in a field like i am you know, never settle to make the same amount of money every year. Especially if your skills are good. Like, I know I'm a good banker. I know I can have good conversations with clients and, and like, meet their financial needs. And if I can't, I know I can get them a partner who will. And that's always the goal for me. I'm not gonna bake heavy today. I'm gonna just blend it all away and blend it into my foundation. I don't understand how people just brush it away. I push it into my skin because I want to make sure it's really setting. Thank you to anybody who's been like watching my videos, supporting my channel. Like, I know I'm s extremely small. I'm basically a startup and I didn't expect to like try to make a, a living off of this. This is just kind of me getting myself out of depression, real shit. Um, you know, I don't know if I talked about it in this video cause I filmed a lot of videos that I haven't posted yet just because I wasn't secure about them not in myself i'm secure in myself and i'm secure in my skills but you know i don't have like those movie editor clips to be able to like cut certain things out like i keep my daughter private i keep my daughter hella private um it's, and it's not that like i'm hiding her i just don't want her in my videos because i don't need anybody knowing what my kid looks like i, I really don't post her on any of my social media because the world is a dangerous place and you know i just she's precious to me and my job is to keep her safe and i'll be honest with you i'm a paranoid as fuck parent supremely paranoid anybody who really knows me knows me that i'm on some shit and that's just because of the things i've gone through in my life that have gotten me to that paranoid point you feel me of the Nova Corps, you are under arrest. Star Lord. Star Lord. Star Lord. All right, I'm gonna contour my nose. One of these days I'll actually get a new palette, but I will ride this to the death. There's certain things I believe in spending money in when it comes to your makeup. 
um, foundations. You can, I actually, my one of my like holy grail foundations is Maybelline Superstay and that's only $12. But I also love the Huda Beauty foundation and that's $40. So that one, you it, it could, you know, there's great foundations at the drugstore and at the, um, what am I trying to say? Drugstore and at Sephora and Ulta. But concealers, I always go high end with my concealers because I have not found a drugstore concealer that is full coverage, dries matte, and like has great undertones. So that's always been a thing with me. But I challenge them to come out with something great. All right, so I'm gonna do my brows now. I've been letting them get a little fluffy. I haven't gotten them done in a while and I'm okay with it because, I don't know. I've just been, I've been okay with it. Like my nail girl, she did my eyebrows um, a while back and she just cleaned them up. She really didn't do that much to them, which I appreciated because I just, I don't need a whole new shape because I wear, um, I pencil my eyebrows in anyway, so I really don't need that much of a transformation. And I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Definer. I'm trying to make sure my eye doesn't get watery. <laughs> No thing like me, except one brow done. My best friend that I'm going out with today, his name is Teddy, and I love him so much. Me and him, uh. We have a lot in common. I never get to see him that much anymore because he and I are both very busy. But today we finally coordinated plans to go see Tenet because we're huge movie buffs. And his birthday is coming up. So he really can't hide from me unless he doesn't want his birthday money. Because I'm always his sugar mama on his birthday. <laughs> Can I just talk about how good the score is in this movie? Again, I'm a huge movie buff. And like, there's a difference between a soundtrack and a score. So this is the soundtrack, but the actual score in the movie is like the theatrical music when like there's a dramatic scene or the soft music when the, the scene is really mellowed out. Both the soundtrack and the score is excellent for this movie, um, but the score is really good. I love, I love that they went with a lot of 70s theme songs for this movie. It's the vibes. <laughs> and I did adult things. I went and got my transmission fluid changed because my light came on. God, does anybody else's heart attack, I mean heart just like completely stop whenever their check engine light comes on. That's the first, I wanna say that's the second time since I've had my car that my check engine light has come on. The first time it was because of my starter and I had to get my starter replaced. Um, but that was like almost two years ago and I've had this car for a while. She officially is gonna hit 100,000 miles soon. which means it's time for me to trade her in because I know a lot of people like to keep their cars until they run into the ground, but I drive way too much and I need something extremely reliable. And I think 
I might like think about leasing. But I also drive too much to lease, so <laughs> that might not be an option. <laughs> We're gonna clean up our brows, do our eyeshadow. We're at 25 minutes. We ain't doing bad. If I can keep it within the next 10 minutes, um, I'll be really proud of myself. Cause I don't wanna, because I don't have like editing equipment and like supreme lighting and I'm filming this on my iPhone. I have to just film it all at once because I don't have um, the option to like break clips up and cut stuff out. So, so we're doing right now. And the Dosa Colors Concealer, one of my favorite concealers of all time and don't forget you can use afterpay to get from kkw from kylie from dose from ulta and it's no interest and as a banker anything that's no interest and you just and it's like four payments with no interest i don't understand why you wouldn't do it now if it was like with a certain percent of interest and there was like an annual fee i'd be like nah never mind but this has no interest and if you, if you set it up to where you make your purchases on your payday, every two weeks they'll come out on your payday, $20, $30, and you won't even notice. And I tell you guys this because I am a single parent who's on a budget. Um, I, make, I make good money, and I get support from her father. Not like financial support, but he does what he needs to do with her, so it alleviates stress from me. I guess that is financial support, but it doesn't go directly towards me. My money's my money and his money's his money and uh, we just take care of our kids together. But he's a really great father. Um, and You know, I just wanna be smart about the decisions I'm making because the goal is to buy a house soon or at least a townhome because, um, so what I got approved for, I can either go 35 minutes south into the country and get like a huge four bedroom three bath house or I can get a townhome in the city and I'd rather have a townhome in the city because then I don't have to move the baby school and like my life is here you know my family's all here I like living in the city it's my vibe so I'd rather do that all right so now that we done that we're gonna go on um, breezy palette I'm gonna take a blender brush we're gonna go in with OG this the color fam. I don't know how much shadow I want to do today. So I'm going to be 28 this year, coming December, and I'm a Sagittarius fire sign. That's probably why I cursed that lady out. She's also a Virgo, and I don't, for some reason, I just don't get along with Virgo, so please excuse me to anybody who's a Virgo out there. It's just, it's just never, it's just two strong-headed people in a working environment like in a living like a in a regular world environment I, I probably could but like if we have to work together it has never been a situation where i've worked with a virgo and things have not escalated quickly <laughs> um what was i saying i forgot what i was saying um my birthday's coming up i'm gonna be 28 and um I'm just ready to start making big moves you know me and my daughter have been living in this apartment for about three years and I love my apartment and our complex and I put curtains up and we you know I've made it really homey here um, for the last couple of years but I'm definitely ready for just the next steps and the goals and I'm I was dating somebody and I kind of um, didn't feel like they were qualified to be a responsible member of like my family, meaning like our political views were not the same and that's really important to me. And then like, you know, my daughter is a chocolate chip and in the world that we're living in right now, you know, I just need somebody who's gonna be like protective over her like I am, which I know is probably gonna be a little too hard to ask for, which I get, but that's what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm just taking a break from dating right now because 
I just don't have the energy. Like, I just rather focus on my goals. I want to lose some weight for sure. I want to lose at least uh, 40 to 50 pounds. So that's a goal I have for the next year, which is obtainable because I've done it before. I've fluctuated a lot after I had my daughter. I think I'm going to take Gorgina and just blend that in the crease because I want it some sparkly in the crease. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and then just leave my lid bare. Four million units. I've been doing this where I've been putting Gorgina, 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 the shimmery, what is this? It's like a shimmery bronzy color in my crease. I've just been loving it like after I put down my um crease color because I like to leave my lid open because I have smaller eyes and it just makes them look big so I'm gonna do that with some mascara and call it a day I'm gonna fill in my I'm gonna fill in my brows because that definitely makes a difference I've noticed always um and i've been using this little salon perfect eyebrow quad for like years Thanos looks so different in this movie than he does in Infinity War and Endgame, which is understandable, but I never realized how different he looked until I like rewatched these a million times. Now that they're all on Disney Plus, oh my god, I live for it. I live for it. If I had to get rid of any subscription, it'd probably be Hulu, and if I had to keep one, it would definitely be Disney Plus. And then, like, Netflix is somewhere in between. Netflix is going to get booted, too, because they took off that 70s show, and I was not happy about that. They did not renew them to keep going. To keep on keeping on, my friend. And he said, I want his leg or his eye. I'm going to do a KKW mascara. This is not waterproof. I found out, I found that out at the funeral last week that it was not waterproof. Can, I, can we just talk about that kind of experience? First of all, um, my Banny's, um, that's what we call our grandmother. Banny's funeral was one of the most beautiful moments and it was such a great experience because it was like a, a like a New Orleans, it's what I would imagine a New Orleans Baton Rouge kind of, is Baton Rouge the right word I'm looking for? A New Orleans like Southern Baptist kind of funeral. Like it was decked out and it was beautiful. And I spoke, um, I had a eulogy that I wrote with her. I have a lot of guilt that I'm still battling with. Um, and we'll talk about that at a different time. And that, you know, watching my, she had six kids. And, you know, one of them died. My aunt died, um, I want to say about 20 years ago. And then, and she was my uncle's twin. And he's just not doing okay. So he lost his sister and then he lost his mom. They lost their dad when they were kids. So... You know, their mom, dad, and their sister's gone, and it's just the five of them. And, um, you know, to watch them all fall apart broke my heart. Like, it literally broke my whole heart. I obviously have my heart broken for my own reasons, missing my grandmother, because me and her were so close. She was here when I delivered my daughter. Like, she literally stayed with me for three weeks. And she was the first person I called when I found out I was pregnant. And she's always sending, she was always sending... I'm gonna start crying, so I'm gonna stop talking. Just finish my mascara. 
she always sent cards she loved I'm gonna just finish that statement she always sent cards she loved cards and I'm thankful that I kept all her cards even when I thought they were corny because now when I miss her I just look at her I'm gonna stop crying I dedicate this video to my grandmother I can't cry because I have mascara on and this is not waterproof and it's gonna mess up everything I just did when my dad sold his house he gave me all the pictures in his house and obviously my house is not 2,500 square feet so I have on my entire storage closet in my apartment is filled with our family pictures and I have so many pictures of her and I'm so thankful because I got to hang them up in my house like when he gave it to me a year ago and um, her house is still sitting there in NC and I just took one of her dresses home I just asked my uncles and my aunt I was like can I take this suit home this pink suit she loved to wear to church she was the mother of the church she loved to wear this pink suit and she was fluffy like me so I brought it home and I'm gonna wear it and I I'll be going back up there in a little while to um, help my family clean out the house and figure out what they're gonna do you know, it's up to them I just want to be there to support because I know they're all hurting right now all right so I'm gonna do some blush I'm gonna do a pink brush I was doing a lot of like a tangerine, like me, love me kind of situation from MAC. But today I want to do like a pink blush. Right on top of my bronzer. And kind of just give me a flush of cute. I honestly don't even want to put highlight on. Yeah, I'm not going to put highlight on. Um, maybe on my nose a little bit, but... Not that much because I have so much shimmer going on in my eyes. I kind of. And I take a buffer brush when I'm doing my blush because I really want to blend that shit in. I'm going to take a little bit of the highlight that I have in here that's like almost empty. I'll put like a little bit. I said I wasn't gonna put highlight on. This is the score. This is what I'm talking about. The music that you hear right now. This theatrical music. <laughs> Alright, so we did our makeup. Um, this is as much as I'm gonna do today. I'm not gonna put on any lower lash mascara. I'm gonna set my face with the Smashbox setting spray. I was gonna set it with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, but I'll do that in a little bit. Um, and I just spray my sponge, because I have mascara on, I don't wanna mess up my mascara. I actually learned this technique from Huda, cause she, when she came out with the resting boss face, she said that um, it was so strong, she just preferred to like spray it onto her sponge and apply it, and I do like that. And then like once my mascara dries, I'll do the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. But this is the look, just like bronzy simmery in the crease and then leaving the lid bare. And then for lips, you know what? I might not even do a lip today because we're gonna go fuck up some tacos, but just for the sake of the video. Hoover and it's literally down to nothing. It's one of my favorite pencils. It's so pathetic how much there's nothing left of this, but we're gonna I'm gonna try. I really need to go to the mall and get a new one of these because this is like a really good color for everything.
a little bit of lip liner because there's literally nothing left mac hoover everybody mac hoover and i'm gonna do catching feelings which is a nude from dose of colors right in the I just... I love the ombre of blending it in with my fingers. And that's it, everybody. That's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I really just like making Get Ready With Me Get Ready With Me's because I like watching Get Ready With Me's. And if there's ever like a topic that you want me to discuss of anything that I brought up in any of my videos uh, that I've shared about my life, you know, I'm an open book to a, to a degree. So we can definitely talk about those things and you just write it in the comments and I'll look out for it and we'll make a video about it. Um, I like to keep you guys updated on what's going on in my life the best that I can do without trying to get too emotional. Um, but other than that, life is good. Bills are paid. We're going to go get some tacos. Ooh, boobies popping out and shit. And I hope you guys have a great evening and you enjoy this video and uh, see you soon.